You have probably heard of the C's used to describe diamond quality. Carat weight, color, and clarity have been used on paper since the 1930s to judge diamonds. In this tutorial, we will present important information about the traditional three C's and critical information on cut, the fourth C, that may change the way you look at diamonds. The weight of a diamond is expressed in carats. This term comes from ancient times when gems were weighed against the carob bean. One carat is equal to 200 milligrams or one-fifth of a gram. Carat weight is sometimes expressed in points. One point equals one one-hundredth of a carat, so 25 points is a quarter carat and 50 points is half of a carat. Grains of rice were also used. Four grains of rice weighed the same as a carob bean. That's why people sometimes call a quarter carat diamond a one grainer. As carat weight gets larger, the value of the diamond increases disproportionately. This is because pieces of rough material are increasingly rare with size. Over a million pieces of rough must be mined to find one piece large enough to produce a one carat finished diamond. This means that a diamond twice as large as an identical smaller one may be three or more times as expensive depending on the market. Carat weight is not the same thing as size. As diamonds increase in carat weight, their apparent size becomes less predictable. Diamonds cut too shallow may appear larger than they should, while diamonds cut too deep may look smaller. Too shallow and too deep are both undesirable. You should always use millimeter measurements and consider girdle thickness when judging proper spread for weight. In this example, bigger is not better. That is part of the cut of a diamond. Superior cut can also result in edge-to-edge -edge light performance. A well-cut diamond will appear larger than other diamonds of the same carat weight and spread. This will be addressed later in our cut tutorial.